Hello guys, uh, in the past videos uh, I talked about uh, area, circumference and the volume of 2D and uh, 3D uh, geometric shapes, how to obtain the area and uh, circumference and volume of those shapes like the circle, triangle, sphere, prism and cone. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, lines and uh, the equation of a line and equation of a circle so let's uh, start with the distance and midpoint formulas for a line okay uh, here we have a line uh, from point p1 uh, to point p2 uh, p1 has uh, coordinates of x1 and y1 and p2 has coordinates of x2 and y2 uh, the distance between point P1 and point P2 is obtained by this simple equation. If we call the distance D, uh, let me change the color to black. Uh, if we call the distance D, uh, lowercase d, then we obtain the distance between these two points as x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So using this simple equation we obtain uh, the distance between these two points which is uh, this. Uh, that's the distance between these two points. The other formula is uh, midpoint uh, by midpoint uh, I mean point M here which is in the middle of the line so the coordinates of uh, midpoint for this line is obtained by the average of x1 and x2 and also the average of y1 and y2 so this way we obtain the coordinates of the midpoint of uh, this line uh, given that we have the coordinates of the end points of this line x1 y1 and x2 and y2 okay uh, now we talk about a uh, line equation before uh, talking about that uh, equation, we introduce the concept of a slope of a line. Uh, a slope of a line through points P1 and P2 uh, is obtained as M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So, uh, on the graph, uh, on the graph of the line, if we want to show this, uh, this line is y2 minus y1, and this line is x2 minus x1. So if we pay attention, Uh, this angle, if we call it uh, theta, uh, the slope of uh, line P1, P2 is uh, related to the tangent of this angle. So if we pay attention, tangent of theta is this line, y2 minus y1 over this line x2 minus x1. Uh, in other words, the slope of a line is equal to the tangent of theta of that line with uh, the x-axis. Uh, so this is the slope of a line. Given that, uh, we can have a point a slope point slope equation of the line 
through P1 uh, with a slope M, uh, we can obtain the equation as Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So uh, in this scenario, if we call it number one, scenario number one, we have uh, a slope of the line and the coordinates of one point. So uh, having those parameters of the line, we can obtain the equation of line using the slope and the coordinates of one point. Uh, so this is called point slope equation uh, of a line. Uh, another scenario is uh, when we have slope and uh, intercept, y-intercept of a line. Uh, let me draw the, another graph. And assuming that this is the line, the intercept of this line is the intersection of the line with y-axis. So uh, we call it, for example, B. So B is the intercept of the line with uh, y-axis. And uh, also, uh, given the fact that we have the slope of that line, which is the tangent of this angle, uh, m equals tangent of theta given that we can obtain the equation of the line we call it a slope intercept equation of the line and uh, the equation is very simple it is y equals m slope times x variable plus b so in this case the known parameters are the slope and the intercept as i showed here uh, so this is another equation to obtain the, uh, the equation uh, of a line so uh, this is what uh, I have for line equations. So we have the concept of a slope uh, and the concept of uh, y-intercept. Uh, and uh, we can obtain the equation of a line. Okay, the last uh, thing that I'm going to talk about is the equation of a circle with center uh, C. Uh, here in this uh, figure, we have a circle uh, with center C as you see, and radius r, uh, the center C has coordinates of h and k. So it is not uh, uh, on the origin of the coordinates. It has an offset uh, of h and k uh, with respect to the origin of the coordinates. Uh, so the equation of this circle is obtained as x minus h, the x coordinate of the center of a circle, h a squared plus y minus k a squared equals r a squared, the radius of the circle. So uh, with this, uh, we can obtain the equation of, uh, of the circle. Uh, here in this figure, uh, x and y are the variables and they uh, give us all the points on the circle. So 
if you pick up an arbitrary point on the circle and uh, you put it in this equation, uh, uh, you uh, obtain uh, the right side of the equation r squared. Uh, so that's the equation, the concept of the equation of this circle. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content in Ijo Academy channel and would like to see more. Thanks for watching this video.